Well, here we are, and uh, there it is. Look at that, our Lexington Financial Center live camera kind of pointed down to show you the traffic in downtown Lexington. We're in the middle of another round of snow blowing through, so traffic moving slowly. This is right outside the station at LAX 18. You can see how the snow has picked up. Uh, that light that we've got out in front of the station there, uh, illuminating those snowflakes as they fall. So this is likely going to be our last wave of more widespread accumulating snow. We've had a couple overnight and it'll become more showery, but one indication the max track lit up with blue where it had backed off earlier this morning. You can see that break that we had for a couple of hours. You know, we've had it filling back in again, but the back edge of it and the lighter stuff back towards Indiana is going to continue to work its way east as low pressure does the same. So we still have our winter weather advisory in effect. There is a winter storm warning in effect across West Virginia. They actually extended it into the mountains, the higher elevations, Pike, Harlan, Letcher counties. You know, you get a few thousand feet up there, you've got a better chance for higher snowfall totals. But generally, we're talking anywhere about a one to three inch snow. I've seen reports of one inch back towards Louisville. Uh, Janet McClanahan via uh, Twitter uh, said that she had about two inches at her house and you can get into some bands where you've got two, three inches or more. So this rivals what we had earlier in the week and could possibly be even more because we've had some very efficient uh, snow production going on overnight and it's still falling. So the future track shows by late this morning into the afternoon, it's pretty much done. We'll still see some scattered snow showers, putting down some accumulation across the mountains. Why that warning goes all the way through till tomorrow morning while our weather advisory has expired there. You can see Saturday morning still some far eastern Kentucky. But the big deal is this bitter cold that's coming in behind with this uh, uh, this high building in. We're in the 20s now, which is good. Road treatments work a little better when you're in the you know upper 20s, especially upper 20s closer to freezing in the wind chills in the teens. But the problem is temperature is going to crash tonight. So everything will freeze solid again if it's a little slushy right now, which it is on the roadways. And we've got a wind chill advisory in effect. This is the second one issued this week because we will see wind chills rivaling what we saw earlier this week. Single digit wind chills later on today, overnight into tomorrow morning. It'll go sub zero. It'll feel like it's anywhere from about 10 to 12, 13, 14 below. Bitterly cold, dangerously cold. Why we have that advisory in place. So just limit your time outdoors. Single digit wind chills even into Saturday afternoon. One of the reasons Evelyn's not going to leave the house. Uh, our Lexington high temperature trend, look at that. Bottoms out at 18 Saturday, our normal high of 42. And then all of a sudden next week, boom, we take off. 40s to even 50s for highs and talking about rain chances. Before we get there, though, we have overnight lows to deal with as well. Single digits tomorrow morning could go sub-zero for the first time uh, as you get into Sunday morning. Now, I'm not talking the wind chill. I'm talking the actual air temperature. Our last sub-zero low was when we hit five below December 23rd in 2022 here in Lexington. But here's the hope that's in sight. We've been talking about this all week. The warm-up next week still showing that six to ten day temperature outlook well above normal. And it's reflected in your eight-day forecast. We'll go from a high of 18 Saturday to possibly pushing 60 with showers and rumbles of thunder potentially by the end of the eight-day forecast.